Welcome to I Love Stocks. I want to talk about three stocks today. It's going to be GME, Tesla, and Fubo. So let's go ahead and start off with GME. What a beautiful run this one had today. We talked about this yesterday's video. I said this thing could break out and then pull back to a support level. I was spot on with that. You can watch the previous video on our website if you like. You just go to our website right here. You hit this icon and you can go back back to the previous video that I watched. I'd appreciate it if you watched that and if you like it hit that like button but we pulled right back to that support level and that's gonna be GME so let's go ahead and look at the chart right now GameStop I think we're gonna pull back I still think we're gonna pull back more we noticed we were down here only at 257 eight months ago and then she's run all the way up to 380 that's a little bit nuts a little bit crazy so this stock ain't gonna hold that that high it's not gonna do it it's way overextended it could pull back at least 50 percent and you know this is different from what we had yesterday but look here from where I charted that 189.87 it was under the 50 percent yesterday so it was spot on when that pullback came today and let me show you on the chart on the daily one minute this is the call that I made. I said this thing could pull back. This was after hours when it was up up in here. I said this thing could pull back to at least a good solid support of 189.87. And we had the big breakout this morning, pre-market. And then she pulled right back to that, that, that support level. And you had a couple chances to get into the trade there. Followed the trend line up through this here path. And that's going to be our new support. It's going to be right around that 300 area, 388. 304 and this thing will keep rising up too if this stock keeps going on up but I've got different support levels I want to talk about I don't think if we do pull back to this 189.87 on a double knife that'll be an excellent double bottom play if you can get in it and scalp it about you know to 246 maybe that's like a pivot point in this channel this 246 so we've got that green light right down here at 189.19 we've got an equilibrium right at 246.62 that's the pivot point that's where we pulled back right here and then she went ahead and had a nice little nice little pennant symmetrical flag right here I thought we were gonna have a breakout into after hours it did break that flag let me show you what I mean by that resistance line on that flag well actually she didn't come she come she did break it, but not that much. Uh, I gotta give me one second here. Um, I'll call him back in a second. So we got a little pennant flag right here. In fact, I'll turn this down so I won't be interrupted anymore. So you get a bunch of calls after hours. Want to know how I feel about the market. So we got a 388 support level to hold. And then we've got this 276.37 for maybe a double bottom play. And then that third support is going to be right down here at 246.62. That's the equilibrium to the pivot point of, of this one day chart. So that's kind of like a pivot point area. If that holds, we can go ahead and retrace back up. If not, we'll pull back to this 189.87 and retrace it back up to that 246. Now that's going to be GME. Watch it. If we start creating lower highs, we could have a pretty nice little pullback on the stock. It's out there. It's in the news. It's had too big of a run. So we've got a lot of fundamental traders out there. Let's go ahead and go straight to Tesla. Tesla's earnings came out today. They were okay. You know, I think they were looking for some kind of miracle, some kind of magic numbers, but everything to me looked like it was up. Oh, and so I think we're still bullish on the stock itself. And that's going to be Tesla. And let's take a little look. It did pull back to this $800 level. So that's where we're going to have to call this new support right there at 797.21 area. And I'm going to go ahead and draw that a green line for a double bottom play in the morning if that happens. So we'll put that into a green line real fast. I'll remember that line because 
I used to be red and now they're green this year. These are going to be my support and resistance levels. And I think if it does have a strong buy, it's going to be right down here on our lucky number 777. That should hold. Or we get a double bottom at 797 and start to build this channel out. I still think we're going to stay in this channel. I really do. I think we're going to stay in this channel and hold it. This 797 is a little bit below the channel. It's right in here, right around the 808. So that could be a support level four too. But this is going to give an excuse for the bears to start taking the trade. As you know, it's pulled back pretty hard off them earnings report. So we got a strong buy down here at 797. That first support is going to be right here at the 810 area. Right there at 810. If that doesn't hold, we could probably go just sink a little bit under that 797 with a very strong buy here at 777 and start showing these bearers that we're in charge. We still have the fundamental traders out there that just are not into the electrical cars. I'm 100%, 1000% bullish on the EV car sector in 2021. You, you just got to be smart about it and buy it support and sell it resistance and keep doing that over and over again. So the next one we're going to talk about is going to be Fubo. So let's get it out here. Let me find my thing. Fubo TV. I think it's a real hot item. I think it, 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 it's going to find a little bit of resistance here and then pull back. The reason I'm going to say that is because of the recent news that came out on this sucker. Ongoing investigation notice. And when this came out today, right around 1.30, the stock started pulling back. So that's law firm announces its investigation claims against Fubo TV. It encourages investors, wimps, with losses of 100,000 to contact the firm. I've not lost once on this trade yet. And I've scalped it many a times, and I've swung it, and I've day traded it, and I've done everything you can do with this stock. But they're saying they're not profitable. A lot of companies aren't profitable. I mean, look at look how long it took for. Uh, Amazon to become profitable and people wouldn't buy it and look what they missed out on same as Tesla Look how they could have got in this thing at 60 70 bucks run it all the way to 2200. It wasn't profitable now it is so what I'm saying is They're saying the same thing here about Fubo So let's go ahead and look at the chart and see if I can find a support level on Fubo Let's find the right chart here F U B O. So I had a little support area right down here, as you can tell, right around that 4446 area. I've got a green strong buy. Your next support, if this holds, if this 4446 holds, we can start retracing back up, because that still holds the trend that we're in, and it's been on a five-day run. So my five-day rule comes into effect. If you've heard me talk about the five-day rule, you know it means I get out of the trade before everybody else does. And I scalped it five times today and swung it. So let's take this to the right. That's going to be your second lower support. It's going to be right down in here somewhere, right around 42.50. So if this 44.46 does not hold, 42, let me see here. Let me get it precise. right about there at 42.39 right off these candlesticks right here and it runs right into that trend bar you got to hold support if that holds support we're still bullish in the stock if not we've got three different support two other different supports that i need to hold and this is raising the bar up five bucks from my last support area down here at 30. so that'll be 39.06 and 35.97 and that's 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 where you're counting on it if this support level doesn't hold here at 42.39 and I'm going to change this into a green line because I'm going to be watching that number tomorrow now the strong buy at 35.90 area this second support 39.06 and that first one here at 42.39 if it's 44.46 does not hold and that's going to be Fubo so I'm little little bearish on it 
but I'm still bullish on it. I'll play all the pullbacks. And see, we had a five-day pullback here, and we've had a five-day run. I think we could pull back again, maybe have a three-day pullback, come in Monday and start trading this trade again. If it gets down here to 39, I'm all in. And if I think it's going to reverse at 44.46, I'll be scalping it. And that's going to be FUBO. That's it for the market report. I hope you enjoyed my three tickers today. GME's overextended. Tesla's oversold. And FUBO is an equilibrium to maybe a pullback a little bit and then play, this, uh, play the dips. Or unless I see what direction the stock's going in. And that's going to be it. Really appreciate it. Always remember, I love stocks, and I hope you do too. We've got a little Twitter bird over here. Miss Vegas is posting alerts. Well, she was hot today calling these trades out. Naked, we took that trade. We were in it at 41 cents. She said it would go to two. I think we almost got there on Naked. She's been calling that out today. I'm kind of bearish on the stock myself, but I took the trade in away, got in at 95, and sold it at 130. You just can't help turn down the vice volume over price and, and share rotation. It's, you know, it has a 41 million float, which we rotated the share over a billion. So, you know, it was definitely a momentum trade. So if you do have a Twitter account, hit that subscribe button to our channel. And also, if you don't, we do have stock Twitter links. We'd like to see you follow us on there. I post alerts in here on a daily basis. Miss Vegas got hers in here, too. You can always pull up hers. There's that second one up there. Follow her trades. We post alerts in here too if you're not in the room. And that's it for I Love Stocks. Everybody have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Be careful with the market. I'm feeling a little Etsy, a little skittish until probably the beginning of next week. But I'll be playing to put definitely on GME maybe tomorrow and swing it long. And that's it. I love stocks.